In this problem, we're asked to factor 8xy plus 15 minus 12y minus 10x by grouping. We start by trying to find the GCF of the first two terms, which is just one. No number or variables are in common. So dividing both terms by one is just going to leave everything unchanged. For the last two terms, we see that we do have a two in common. 2 goes into negative 12 and into negative 10. So dividing the terms negative 12y and negative 10x by 2, we get negative 6y and negative 5x. Now here we observe that the binomials really don't match. We're not even off by just signs. All the terms themselves are completely different. So as we've done before, we rewrite the problem by moving the second term all the way to the end. So the question now becomes 8xy minus 12y minus 10x plus 15. And we're back to square one. We're just starting with grouping all over again from scratch. Now, for the first two terms, we see that we have a GCF of 4y. Dividing 8xy by 4y, we get 2x. And then dividing negative 12y by 4y, we get negative 3. For the last two terms, we can factor out a 5, which goes evenly into negative 10 and into 15. And then dividing negative 10x by 5 gives us negative 2x. Dividing 15 by 5 gives us a positive 3. Here, we see that the binomials don't match, but we're close. We're off by the signs. The 2x is positive in the first expression, while being negative in the second, and the 3s are opposite signs as well. We can fix this easily by factoring out a negative 5 and leaving the first part of the problem completely untouched. Doing this, we would divide negative 10x by negative 5, which would give us a positive 2x, and then 15 divided by negative 5 will give us a negative 3, which gives us the same identical binomial in both terms. Once we are at that stage, we can factor that identical binomial out as the GCF, and then from the first term, when we divide this term by the GCF, we'll be left over with a 4y. And then when we divide the second term by the GCF, 2x minus 3, we'll be left over with a negative 5.